Hey guys, this is Honey and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to share with you my change of lifestyle journey. So on my previous vlogs, I was talking about my keto diet. So again, I'm not an expert. So all of this is I just learned from research online and um, uh, reading. So I am really gaining a lot of weight as I said. So now I am trying this keto diet and um, I combine this with intermittent fasting so what is um what is um what is the benefit of intermittent fasting and keto diet so keto diet is like um, you have to reach to the level where where your body will have its ketosis and also the intermittent fasting so it is a certain times when you don't have a sugar and the fat in your intake that your body will release ketosis so if you gonna fast you don't eat from um, for a few period uh, for a certain period of uh, time then your body will release ketosis as I've said I am doing um, intermittent fasting so I only eat in the window uh, they call it a window when you are allowed to eat so the span of time so I have my fasting for um, I have fasting for 16 hours because that is the only um, time that fits with my schedule right now I wanted to do it more on the future but you have to introduce it to your body slowly so your body will gonna get used with the adjustment oh by the way I am what I'm doing right now is um, I have here because on um, inter on the keto diet there are certain kinds of fruits and vegetable that is allowed for you. So as what I remember is berries, watermelon, cantaloupe, um, peaches I guess, and so I have a leftover. I have here a leftover um, strawberry I use this for my salad also to give a flavor to my salad and um, I see I noticed that it's almost getting done so before I gonna throw it in the garbage I have to use it because strawberry is so expensive right now so what I'm doing is I'm gonna make like because I'm allowed with uh, whipped cream and also milk for the keto diet but you don't have to put sugar so right now it's 1 p.m. so I am on my 16th hour of intermittent fasting so going back um, it says that your body needs your carbohydrate and your sugar uh, carbohydrate to as an energy to run your body right and then it says in there 
Now this is what I only understand. This is not the full, um, not, not the full uh, content. But if you would like to know more, I'm gonna talk it more on my next vlog. We will talk about more of it. So what I understand is your body needs carbohydrates um, as a fuel, like in like like a car. So carbohydrate is just like your um, gasoline. And then if you don't if that carbohydrate is missing in your body, that's why keto diet some people like they do um, high high fat because fat is easy fat is easy to burn and then when your body detects that you he don't have you don't have carbohydrate in the body then that's the time that he will use he don't have choice but to use um, fat as an energy to run your body so that's why a lot of people are using because they said it's really effective well actually I already lost three kilos for almost three weeks so it's pretty good it's slow but it's good and to be honest I don't do exercise so just the normal routine of the house that I clean I do gardening but other than intense exercise I'm too lazy for that as of the moment so I lost that amount of uh, uh, I lost that amount of fats, and we just um, strict. I have my um, I have my cheat day, which is sometimes I do it Saturday or sometimes I do it Sunday. So that's the time that I can eat carbs, but I still try not to eat. A lot of sugars like dessert or chocolates or ice cream I tried to um, I tried to avoid that I eat carbs I eat rice on my cheat day I also eat bread but still I regulate I still have a, I still not abused it so as I said um, when you don't have carb in your body then your body will gonna use the fats to burn energy he don't have choice regarding with the intermittent fasting by the time because your body has an amount that they gonna um, they gonna break down all the food that you ate and then whenever it doesn't have you doesn't have food intake so that's the time that your body will use the stored fat as the energy so that is why um, most of the people who do keto diet they combine the intermittent fasting with it because um, I forgot the term I should uh, I read it a lot but I should uh, I should uh, write it down so i can explain it to you further so um that's why they said that um, most of the people that they wanted a fast they do seriously with keto they eat lots of fat but not just a regular fat they have like what you call a good fat like um cream cheese uh, fat from the pork or um uh coconut fat like that so in keto diet you're allowed with cream cheese dairy cheese but it doesn't mean that it's only like that you also need protein so on my diet right now i am doing um i am doing the greens vegetables but i don't do so much fat all the time maybe one meal i do like today um, later on I'm planning to eat a pork sisig uh, Filipinos are familiar with that it's the fat of the pork we bake it and then we cook it in uh, we bake it and then we slice it uh, we chopped it and then we put onions and spices and garlic and then we put mayonnaise in it which is the good thing is 
I am allowed with mayonnaise so I take advantage with that but not every time because I'm also scared as I've said lots of fat scares me so what I'm doing is I omitted my carb intake I omitted my sugar intake then I loaded myself with um, with uh, good nutrients like most of the time I loaded with um, I loaded with uh, lots of uh, um, salads I still do it in uh, in a good way so partly partly it's a keto because I followed some of the recipes from keto but the only thing I didn't follow is the loads of fat because I'm scared with that try this guys it's really good um, it, it is sweet actually because they said that the more you eat sugar the more your body will, will store fat so and the worst is it will gonna make your belly bigger so actually I see the improvements the first uh, thing that I noticed is my belly flattens a little bit because it was really big this is really um, the worst weight that I have because I move location I move here with my husband and then I don't have a job so I'm just at home and all I can do is to cook and eat and I am so scared with my lifestyle so I do and look at this right now I don't have sugar with it but I found it very sweet now because my tongue is not used of eating sweets anymore so it will appreciate you know when you don't get things so often then you appreciate it more so I hope you learn a little bit from our discussion today and if you are new on my channel please don't forget to like subscribe and push the notification bell so you will be updated when i will upload another video please take care everyone stay healthy stay fit of course have a good day and i will see you again on my next video